Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today we are going to be continuing our series on different methods of selection in Photoshop by demonstrating the pen tool. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have this image of an apple. Now we're going to be using the pen tool to take and select this apple and take it from the background. And what's good about the pen tool is that it allows you to make very fine adjustments to a selection. Um, with the magic wand uh, you can get pretty close selections but the pen tool you can basically force um, Photoshop to make the kind of selection that you want. So let me show you what I mean. You can find the pen tool over here in the toolbar. It's slightly towards the bottom. Um, looks like a little bitty uh, fountain pen. You can click on that and make sure that you have the top one, not any of these other pen tool uh, elements. So once you have that, I'm just going to take and zoom into the apple. And what you can do is just basically start by clicking somewhere um, on the edge of what you want to select. So once you click, you can see that it's made a point. And now what you can do is you can take and make another point on the outside. And now when you take and click, you want to make sure you hold so that you can make a curve or a bezier rather than uh, just having a straight line. So you can continue to take and make the path around the object or um, in this case the apple. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can come back and fix that up later. I'll show you how you can do that. So we're just taking and making a quick selection. Um, again, make sure that you take and pull out a little bit um, on the handles, even if you're not going to use the curve for the most part, because it makes it easier um, later when you're going to, um, rather than taking, going to the convert tool to make it a curve. So I always just take and usually pull um, the handles out at least a little bit so that it saves me time in the end. So we're just going to continue. I'm almost finished, almost around here. All right, so when you get to the last point, what you're going to do is um, when you move your pen tool over your last point, you'll see that the pen tool changes from uh, having nothing next to it to having a little circle. So that basically tells you that you're, uh, you've reached the end of your path. So now what we can do is with this selection or with this path, um, we can actually take and move some of the points around. So what you're going to do is go over to the direct selection tool, which is uh, two tools lower than the pen tool. And it might look like uh, the black little um, pointer, which that's the path selection tool. You don't want that. You want the direct selection tool, which is white. So you can grab that. And then what you can do is you can click on your path you just made, and it shows up. And then it'll allow you to take and actually adjust all of the points that you just made. You can actually take, and I'll zoom in and show you. You can take and you can move this point around however you want. You can take each of these handles and you can adjust the way that it curves. You can bring these handles in and such. So you can have a lot more uh, control over exactly how your path is going to look. And you can even take and drag the line to adjust um, everything at one time. So um, once we can zoom out, you can see that we have a pretty good selection of this. I didn't um, get away from the apple too much. So what we're going to do is go back up to the pen tool. And then inside of your path, you're just going to right click. Now you can go down to make selection. Now you can also get to this if you come over next to your layers, you should have a tab called paths. If not, you can find that in the window. Um, you can go to paths and then you can click this little um, make selection button down here at the bottom while you have your work path selected. So I'm just gonna choose to do it the first way. So I'm gonna right click with the uh, pen tool inside of the path and you go to make selection. So then it brings up this make selection box and um, you can just leave it on the default except for the feathering depending on how feathered you want the edge to be or how um, fuzzy basically you want it to be. We'll just put it on about three pixels um, and that should be good and we'll click OK. So now you can see that we have our selection made just like we would have with a magic wand or some other tool. And now we can just take and I'm just going to go up to the marquee tool, right click, go to layer via cut and you can see that we have selected out the apple very nicely. So the pen tool definitely gives you um, a lot of options as far as making selections. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to make sure and show you that when you hold down over the pen tool, you also have the free um, form pen tool where basically you can draw a path. Uh, I would definitely select the pen tool over that. Um, you can also add anchor points or subtract them. If you make too many points, you can use this uh, delete anchor point to take them away. And then this is the convert point tool which I was talking about. Basically, um, I'll show you real quick. If you make a bunch of straight lines, I'm, keep in mind I'm not taking and dragging those to make curves, you can take the convert point tool and you can take and drag those out in order to make a curve. So you can see uh, that here, I'll just zoom in so you can see. You can take and drag to make a curve from a pointed one. So um, I just wanted to go through those just in case you had some issues making your path. You can then fix it up um, with those tools. 
and you can also use the direct selection tool. So I hope you guys learned something about making selections with the pen tool today, or at least uh, the pen tool in general. So don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.